Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at frequency distribution table where we will be given a set of data and we organize the data into a frequency distribution table. We have our problem here. Here are the scores in percent of 50 students in an aptitude test. We have the scores here. Construct a frequency distribution table with eight classes. Use two raised to power k greater than or equal to n to verify the class size. Um, in our solution to this problem, we are given that the frequency table should contain eight classes. Then we need to get our class size. To get our class size, it is the highest score minus the lowest score divided by the number of classes so we check our data and discover that 98 is the highest score we have 98 and the least score is 21 you have to be very careful in getting the highest and the least scores so we have minus 21 then divide by the number of classes you wish to obtain which is 8 in this case and this gives 9.625 which is approximately 10. You should always round up till 10. We have to use 2 raised to the power k greater than or equal to n to verify and if you see now 2 raised to the power 10 is greater than 50. So that one is taken care of. Then the next thing is um, in the construction of the frequency table where we have this course, we are going to have our class intervals here. Then we also start from 21. Then 21 to 30 will give us 10 as class size. So we have 21 to 30. The next class will be 31 to 40. The next class will be 41 to 50, 51 to 60, 61 to 70. 71 to 80, 81 to 90, and 91 to 100. We're going to stop at 100 since the scores are based on percent. So we then get our tally column and the frequency column. So the tally now is going to be based on each of the class intervals how many items are found there will be written in tally form. Thereafter, we write the figure under the frequency. So the best method here is pick the value one after the other. I pick 35. Which class interval does it belong? This is here. I mark it out. I pick 93. Uh, 93 falls into the last class interval. I put the tally there. So I have 51. 51 is here. It is marked out. Then I have a 70. 70 is in this class interval. It is marked. 83. 83 is in this class. Then we have 90. 90 is here. 60. We have 60 here. 61. We have 61 here. 73. We have 73 here, 44. We have 44 here, 71. We have 71 here, 52. 52 is here. Then 21. 21 is in the first class interval. 86. 86 is here. It is marked out. The next one is 79. We have 79 here. So it is marked. 35, 35 is in the second class interval, 73, 73 is here, 44, 44 is here, 71, we have 71 here, since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth one will be used to cross to make it 5, then we have 95, 95 is in the last class interval, then we come to 64, 64 is here, 88, 88 is here, it is marked out, 
we have 58 58 is here 40 40 is here 57 57 is here it is crossed to make it 5 i have 43 43 is here 61 61 is here 52 52 is here 35 35 is in the second class interval 56 56 is here we have 63 63 is here it is crossed to make it 5 then we have 53 53 is here 48 48 is here then 78 78 is here 65 65 is here 98 98 is in the last class interval then the next number is 28 it is in the first class interval 72 72 is here 67 67 is here marked out the next number is 82 82 is here so we have four already we cross it to make it five then we have 54 54 is here we mark it out and then um, 46 46 is here since we have four we cross it to make it five 62 62 is here we mark it 35 35 is here since we have four we cross it to make it five 70 70 is here we mark it out 41 41 is here so the next number is 63 63 is here we already have one two three four we cross it to make it a five 73 73 is here this 73 we mark it 68 68 is here we mark it and finally 50 50 is here so we've gotten the tally for each of the class intervals we then get their frequency this is two we record it as two this is five it is recorded this is five six seven this is seven five six seven eight nine we have nine here this is five five ten plus one eleven this is five six seven eight we have a eight this is five and then this is three so we need to verify that we have adequately accommodated all the numbers by adding this we give us a 20 7 and 8 we give us 15 35 this is 40 45 48 and 50 so we've successfully accommodated the numbers in the distribution and appropriately created the frequency distribution table so that is where we are ending this tutorial since we have uh, satisfied the requirement for this problem thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video also check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on statistics also please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel let us see how you feel on the comment section until we come your way again, goodbye.